Hello everyone and welcome back to Cast Up Vintage and the second part of the Newark Vintage Tractor Show. The Glasgow Tractor was on the old timer Tractor Rally stand. That's an event that I'm planning on visiting in 2024. Glasgow were one of the tractor manufacturers that tried to capitalise on the tractor revolution following the First World War. Another special tractor for me is this early case with the roadless track conversion. Good to see this early Model T among the tractors. If you're into Model T's, leave me a comment below. This triggers some memories, a Martin Markham Colt tractor built in my hometown of Stamford. Two close relatives, the early Nuffield that went on to become the Leyland Tractor and was eventually sold to Marshalls as we looked at in part one. Four tractor parts seem to be quite plentiful on this stand. Forward Control County, just one example of many of the specialist products built by county commercial cars. Something else I've never seen before, a bent or manure spreader. It spreads from the front and I presume it's designed to keep the weight on the tractor for as long as possible. This MM tractor has had a conversion to diesel with a Meadows engine. I like this original condition Ford Ferguson 9N. It was displayed complete with this tyre pump connected to one of the cylinders.
We'll take advantage of a pause in the rain showers and look at some of the outside exhibits. This Ford 400E pickup truck was quite nice and this Morris 1000 van. An unusual comma two stroke, three cylinders, six pistons. Here's one for the Land Rover enthusiasts, an early 80 inch Series 1 with the lights behind the grille. Next we visit the Ford stand and they'd cram plenty of equipment on here for us to look at. If you know anything about the next tractor, perhaps you'd like to leave a comment below. All I can tell you is what you can read on this board here. hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you all again next week.